Sethu, and you are invited to take a thrilling adventure through the best of nature and science in Chicago. That's right, from critter connections to creative art lessons and outdoor explorations, experience it all up close. Tim is live at the Becky Noda Bar Museum. What's checking out, Tim? Hey guys, it's all interactive. I'm going to play a tune for you. This is one of the parts of the exhibit here. You got to listen. Tell me what song this is. Any guesses? The GDC theme song. How did you know? <laughs> That's exactly what it was. <laughs> now this, <laughs> this is part of the new Nature well, Play Space, <laughs> Nature's Play Space exhibit. Stop here at the uh, Chicago Academy of Sciences, Peggy Notabart Nature Museum, and here to tell us about it, and she likes that tune that I was playing there. This is Aaron Amico, who's the CEO and President. Thanks for being with us today. Thank you Appreciate so much it. for having me. Can you take us on a little tour as you're describing what we're looking at here? I would love to. So we're in the Hover and Lacey family's Nature's Play Space. Nature's Play Space is more than just a play area. It's really a learning environment. So as we move through the space, you'll see that there are over 25 different interactions and it's really a sensory experience. Nature's play space represents over six different Illinois habitats. So we have savannas, dunes, wetlands, and it's really a great example of how the power of the Nature Museum comes to life. Can you make the chicken make its noise? I can please. make that's the that's chicken. A, I'm, I'm <laughs> listening to what you're saying, but I can't go forward until you do that. All right, this. There he goes, all right. The chicken call. So this represents the prairies, the That's six right. habitats of Illinois. This is one of them. That's right. And one of my favorites are the tree of woodpeckers. They make yes. a wonderful sound. Kids can turn the wheel, tumble through the dunes, or go down the slide. It's really meant to let kids take an active role in their own learning experience. And so you say kids, what age groups are you gearing this towards? Nature's Play Space is geared towards kids under the age of eight. Okay. Awesome. And what are your hours for people who are interested in checking this out? Our hours are 10 to 4 and we're open seven days a week. So Monday through Sunday. And this is huge too. So this is one of your bigger expansions you've seen in what, the, like the last couple decades, right? That's right. So Nature's Play Space is over 3,000 square feet. So as a mom of, of two kids, I know that I'm going to spend a lot of my Chicago winters here at Nature's Play Space. And one of the amazing things is right up the stairs, we also have access to our world-renowned Judy Eyestock Butterfly Haven. So talk about enjoying those tropical temperatures during frosty nights. And it's really important for kids to kind of get in touch with nature and learn about nature at, nature at an early age. And why, why is that? That's right. So research tells us that children that have exposure to nature as well as environmental education see a lot of benefits, including improved cognitive function, critical thinking, creativity, and a whole host of other great things that improve well-being. And um, what's your website again? Our website is naturemuseum.org. And is there an age limit? Like, could I come in here off hours? <laughs> and I'm with you? No. Well, we'll make an exception. <laughs> okay. Wow, that makes my day, guys. You, you know, you come in here and you're just drawn. You just want to touch things and mm -hmm. play with things, and that's what it's all about. It's really cool. Yeah, that's if you're right. going Back there you. and you're off time, Tim, people are going to start like, what is that guy doing over there? Oh, a boat. <laughs> <laughs> and some boat. of our boats were made through 3D printing. Oh, that's so cool. So oh, really? Enjoy. Something very mm -hmm. peaceful wow. about that, too. And if people come the, back in a little back. bit, we'll have a fountain that sprinkles down and awesome. rains. Ooh. This area represents both our rivers and our lakes and so much of the nature that I'm children in. find nice. right in their backyard. Awesome. Cool. Thank you. Sounds like a smock zone. Sounds like the perfect <laughs> recipe for like sleeping too, like a falling the fountain in the mm -hmm. water. So we'll do calming. it.